Hi Foodtube, my name is Tommy Myers and I am passionate about spice and Mexican food and today I'm going to be cooking you the best ever steak tacos with my favourite roast salsa and this one is a real corker so let's get cooking. So the first thing I've got to do is make a marinade for my steak. The steak we're going to use today is skirt steak and this marinade will just tenderise it and really bring out all this flavour. So I've got my garlic clove, I'm going to add a pinch of salt and just mash it up with that salt. This garlic is ready for the marinade. Got my skirt steak. Just gonna throw that garlic in. We want the juice of half a lime. Just gonna squeeze that lime in and that acidity will really start breaking down those sinews. There we are, bit of pepper. pinch more salt and just a tiny bit of olive oil and he can sit marinating for half an hour, an hour, four hours, really whatever you like. Now I'm going to wash my hands ready to make the best ever salsa. So in Mexico making the best salsa is a fiercely contested competition. Everyone's got their own recipes, everyone makes them fresh every day. This is my favourite one, I think it's delicious. So first of all I've got some garlic cloves that I've toasted in a dry frying pan and look how easily this skin is just flaking off. And toasting the garlic really really softens the flavour, makes it much more gentle and gives a quite a nice charred edge. So both the tomatoes and the garlic are dry roasted in a frying pan and this method of cooking is archetypally Mexican and it adds a wonderful charred flavour into your salsa, totally delicious. Now some people might think that looks burnt but I swear it gives the best, best flavour to your salsa. So go with it and test it out yourself. So in they go. I'm just going to gently work these tomatoes into a mush. Now of course you can use a food processor here but the texture just won't be the same. So you can see that with a pestle and mortar you really get that texture. If I put this through a blitzer it would just be a completely smooth puree whereas here I've got a lovely rough textured and you can see some of that blackened skin which is going to taste delicious. So now that that's into a rough kind of mush, I'm going to add some onion and some chopped coriander and in that rest of that goes. We've got some onion, so the onion is not only going to give this salsa a lovely freshness, a sharpness, the acidity of the onion is absolutely essential for the salsa, but also that lovely crunch will give you texture in the salsa. So what's this salsa missing? Chilli! You can't have a salsa without chilli. So this is chipotles and adobo. Chipotles are the smoked dried jalapeno. If you can't get hold of any in the shops, just use a jalapeno, a fresh one, a fresh green chilli, roast it just the way I did to the tomatoes, shove it in, that will give you some lovely heat to it. I'm going to add a great tablespoon and it's going to give this salsa a bit of smoky, wonderful heat. So I'm just going to stir this round gently. Now I need some fresh lime, acidity. You can always use vinegar, the Mexicans love vinegar for cutting through rich flavours. But I'm going to use fresh lime here, half a lime should do it. In it goes, and that is my salsa made. Now all I need to do is cook my steak and we're ready to eat our tacos. So my skirt steak's marinated, my pan is really hot. I'm just gonna shake the excess marinade off and in it goes to the pan. While that's cooking, another perfect accompaniment to a steak taco are spring onions, but we want them nice and charred. I'm just going to roll them in that lovely olive oil marinade and pop them onto this pan. Perfect. And we want these spring onions to be really nice and charred, just like in the markets. And they are so good in these steaks. We're just going to season them with a bit of lime and they'll be delicious. And there's that steak. We're going to leave him to rest on that board. Now all I need to do is heat up my tortillas I've got some corn ones here, but you can use flour wraps, you can kind of use anything really. I'm going to just put them on my flat top here, sprinkle a little bit of water on, oil. So now I need to cut that steak. So the most important thing with skirt steak is you cut it across the grain 
not with the grain. So I'm going to cut it across the grain. Oh, it's looking gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. Look at those delicious bits of meat. Right, I should make some tacos. Okay, got my tortillas. Got some steak. We've got that salsa, full of that smoky chipotle flavor. Those charred onions, this is just gonna be a mouthful. Delicious salsa. Smoky, fiery, full of flavour and completely fresh. Bit of avocado, bit of avocado. Squeeze the fresh lime and those delicious spring onions, which need all that lime over too. Look at that, that's going to be delicious. Time to tuck in. Mm. That steak, the creamy avocado, that smoked chipotle salsa, that is Mexican street food at its finest. It's sensational. If you like this, don't forget to click on the thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe.